Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Um, first off, I just want to say a big thank you to you all for tuning in and um, that you keep coming back and seeing more of my work and what I've been up to. Um, really appreciate it and I really look forward to seeing some of you guys at Stockport uh, at the tournament. So, that being said, um, here are some models that you will be seeing at Stockport. So, as my theme is Kirithungo, um, I'm going to be um, well, I've converted up some orcs, and I've got some urukai, which I'll show you in another video, and I'll do one completely like together video. So here are is a warband of my orc spearmen, uh, led by Gorbag himself. So obviously, with a hero like this, you're going to give him a shield. So. Here's a battered old shield that I press molded and um, battered a bit more. So that's just a standard, standard glue on conversion. Um, so ahead of you are, ooh, excuse me, um, ahead of you are some orcs, and they are not just your normal glue together, glue on the base. Uh, some of them may look like it's uh, from the front, but let's turn it over. can see as you turn it over you can see much green stuff work so on these I've given fur uh, extended the fur on the back and put some chain mail on um, so that's this guy um, this next one was um, the armoured version. So I've armoured him his face a bit more um, and um, I've been sanding it down so the detail doesn't look as crisp but I've given him a shoulder pad as well. Now that's a minor conversion. Um, next we're on to um, this one. Okay, so here I added a a little strip along the helmet as if you can pull it down for like a visor uh, and continue the cloth around so if you take this model at the back uh, you can see all the cloth the leather strips usually go down well I've extended the cloth so they don't look too similar and going on to this guy I've taken this model bought down the arm and um, Change that hand for an Easterling one, but you could have left that one on and put a pole through, and so he's cheering on, kind of celebrating a kill or something like that. And uh, I've re sculpted the back because the detail was a bit lost there and added some extra detail on the helmet. So each one of these little things will help to create a little bit of a ravel uh, mishmash of armor kind of thing. And same with this one. As you can see, this is the same model, but I added some cloth around the sort of um, sort of um, line area and the back. And with this one, as you can see, these are the same model, and I've added some cloth there and around the back as well um, oops, there's it. so it actually covered um, this sort of leather material there we go so it covers that makes them look a little bit different and I've given this one some extra shoulder pads some realistic size ones alright next we have the um, old English doctor. <laughs> so this is the beaky helmet, but I've given him a hood. Looks a bit sinister. Um, not a hugely difficult conversion, but getting the hood to sit right on the helmet can be tricky. And um, I think I've I'm pleased about how I've pulled it off. So that's one that I really like. And sticking with the same model, here is quite a departure. My head swap. 
Now, as I'm only showing you Spearman today, which will, I'll just show you what this one. That head, if you recognise it, is from a banner bearer. And this is the banner bearer, which I haven't finished yet. But he's getting there. Um, which I'll show you those swordsmen that I've converted in another video. Um, but I re-sculpted the hair once it, um, where it was sort of attached to the banner and sculpted a lot of fur around. So really looking forward to painting that. And added a spike from the spear of the Urukai Shaman. So I'm really pleased with that conversion. It's very cool and hopefully seamless when it's painted. Um, next we have this one. Now this is a really cool one which I did ages ago. I just I found it interesting that there's no spearman pointing upwards in the orc set. So I made one by lowering the arm. Yes, perhaps the arm's a little bit too long or a bit too big, but it seems to work and it's orcs, isn't it? So they're all going to be shapes and sizes. Um, so I've given them larger shoulder pads, perhaps a bit too big, but I think it works in a rabble and you've got you can create like a spear line with these it kind of works quite nicely and likewise with this guy and uh, this is one of the orc engineers from the um, catapult set I've given him um, his head from this guy and sculpted a hood and also Zoom in that. There we go. You've got the hair underneath. So much like oh no, I haven't got it. Much like that one was. Uh, and the last of all, the last spearman is this dude. Now oh, this is quite a funny one. Um, I didn't like him at first because his uh, spear was down here and he was like jabbing but I didn't like this arm. But I think like this it kind of works quite well because like this one they're kind of cheering on their orc fellows who are battling the Urukai or whoever. So I've made a sword, um, not a sword, uh, you could say I guess it's a halberd type thing but um, it's just a spear with uh, an Easterling sword that's been glued onto the end. I just found whatever sharp object worked. I extended the shoulder pads again and put lots more fur to cover the join between the Easterling arm and the orc body. Now that's all of the spearmen. Now hopefully you've enjoyed looking at them but I've got another conversion to show you and first of all I'll get an old captain if you remember these old captains and this one you can still get in the fine cast set and if you look carefully this is the fine cast captain which I've converted to be a banner bearer that's holding it the other way. And if you hold it one more second, you will see that I've taken the head off one of these and stuck it onto there. And this being fine cast allowed me to scoop that out to the head and technically use it on this banner area. So there's been lots of head swapping. I pulled this arm down, cut off the shield, and the shield will be uh, going on this orc, if I just find him. Yeah, there we go. So, it was quite a complex conversion, but I found it really fun to do, swapping the hand over, drilling out the the staff of the 
um, of the banner and adding the shield onto the back. Now if we zoom in closely, you'll see that that's another press molded shield that's attached by a buckle and a belt. Now if we zoom in, hopefully that detail will stand up to scrutinization very close, which I'm really pleased with. Um, if you want to, for me to show you a tutorial on how to do buckles, please post below because I think I could do a tutorial video and they're really not as hard as you think they might be. And obviously giving him a pickaxe because I still had the pickaxe from this guy. And that's of all, Frodo and Sam. <laughs> but that's this um, kind of showcase about my orc conversions. I hope, I hope you've really enjoyed this video guys and um, hopefully it inspires you to make some more orc conversions yourself because I've got a whole cabinet of orcs already and just I didn't want more of the same. So guys thank you um, as usual for watching and continuing to come back. Um, I'll most definitely see you in the next video. Um, more Sirith Umbral themed stuff to come and just take care of yourselves, um, happy hobbying and I'll see you soon, goodbye.